G'day, how you going? My name is Roberto and I'm going to talk about uh, Luminar Neo. <laughs> this is Jerry. If you're new to the channel, this is Jerry. She helps me with all my editing and <laughs> so let's get into it. I'm going to talk about Luminar Neo. Now I've put in the title Luminar 5. Now the reason why I did that, I originally bought Luminar 4 and they came out with Luminar AI. Now Luminar 4 is the main application that had all the features on it and then they brought out Luminar AI. Uh, it had all this artificial intelligence where it could recognize things and just artificial intelligence. So that's why I, uh, I put it in the thumbnail Luminar 5 because really this is Luminar Neo is really Luminar 5. It was released a while now, it's been about three or four months and I think now it's finally released a proper, proper uh, release version of it. So where it's got most of the features that were in Luminar 4. So it's still missing a few things from Luminar 4. But with Luminar Neo now, it's just so much easier. They've made it just as powerful, if not more, now with all the AI. So basically, it's Luminar 4 and Luminar I, you know, got together and had Luminar Neo. I don't usually do... Uh, editing videos on um, my channel if, you, if you're new here my channel is more about just me and my dog Jerry going on photo walks and just playing around with cameras and seeing what we get up to <laughs> um, I shoot Olympus uh, and film cameras or whatever really I'm just an amateur and I'm gonna bring that across to my editing as well that's why I was drawn to Lumina because of the easy learning curve uh, you've got Lightroom and Photoshop I found the learning curve was just a little bit too much so I thought I want to spend more time in the field <laughs> with my dog Jerry and this way Luminar Neo it's just as powerful you know and but it's got the AI uh, to it so now what I mean by AI is um, sliders I mean they all have sliders Luminar has sliders Photoshop but what Luminar have done they've done a lot of the heavy lifting and they've made the GUI, the graphical user interface, much easier so you can utilize the sliders. Uh, and also, as I said, there's a lot of AI in there um, to help you out. I mean, half the time, it is powerful. On the left-hand side, you've got all the editing features. Um, but half the time, if you want to be lazy about it, some of those AI sliders, that's all you need. You don't even need to refine it. But obviously... You want to master it and you want to get the best out of it. There are some good guys out there who know what they're doing. Uh, if you want to check them out, I'll put a little list here of some of the ones that I recommend. They have dedicated channels to Lumina and they're really good. So go check them out. And if you want to buy it, go. they've got links as well, like coupons. You can use their coupons and... Um, you can get it cheaper. So I got it pretty cheap. Um, there's always sales on for Lumina. Um, I think they're from the Ukraine and uh, I think because of the war and whatever, they really have really good deals going on and you can get it really cheap. Um, they don't pay full price. <laughs> Go to those other guys on YouTube, get their links and you can get it cheaper that way. Even today, I'm looking at it uh, for $94 Australian, you can get one seat um, and for two seats, it's like 108 bucks. I mean, you're saving like nearly $200 on it. So that's just without even any um, coupons or anything. So it's, what I mean by seats, you can seats means two. You can have two copies. You can give like I gave Luminar four um, to my sister, uh, her computer. So when I'm over there, I can use it over there. And the other seat I have with um, my computer. It's just like buying two copies or three copies. Well, how many seats that you want and how many computers that you want to load it on. Now, the beauty of also this is that it's a one-time buy. You know, you don't have to be a subscription to it like uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, it's not a. It's not based on a subscription plan, although they do have a Luminar X membership, which is 54 bucks a year. Now that's, um, all that does is it gives you extra like creative stuff throughout the year and yeah, I don't really know much about that. But what I just bought, I just bought the standalone version. So that's the beauty over Lightroom. You buy it once and that's it. Now some people have, and even me, when I bought Luminar 4, um, within like a year, 
they'd moved on to Luminar AI and Luminar 4 didn't have any updates and you think, oh, that's bullshit because, you know, I bought your software and, you, you, you know, you've moved on to the next version now I've got to buy the next version. But I think Luminar Neo or Luminar 5 <laughs> is, I think, you can, that's going to be there for a while now. Uh, and I, actually, I did see a Luminar 4 update only a week ago. So maybe that was a bug fix or whatever. So, now speaking of bugs, <laughs> um, when I first downloaded it, before all these new updates and then bug fixes and everything, it was a little bit slow. So you might see a few reviews out there saying, oh, this is buggy, it's bloody, you know, slow and that. But I've got an i7 with a 1080 graphics card. I don't even know if it uses the graphics card, but it's pretty good. Now, I, saying that, I did have a few issues where uh, where like I would be editing uh, and then I'd have like about 10 edits go on the go for that photo and then you do one more edit and it wouldn't update and you couldn't you know when you press the button to see before after before after <laughs> it wouldn't show me the before um, now whether that's a memory issue or I overloaded the bloody thing or I had too many edits going I'm not sure but it seems it's very it's pretty stable it's stable enough anyway it's like any software is going to be buggy um, if you you know push it to the limits i mean there are a few tricks you can do like edit on an ssd drive um, so like that means like your c drive on most computers so put all your photos on the c drive or the photo that you're editing at least on the c drive so you're getting faster throughput uh, so yeah anyone with an i5 uh, and up is good enough uh, for Luminar Neo. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, they prefer the catalog system of Lightroom. Now, that's true. Uh, a lot of people said that the, the catalog, uh, how you import it and how it's set up to find the photos you want. Now, the, of course, Lightroom is better because Lightroom, you can filter through what lens you used, what camera you used. They've, you, they're using like the Windows uh, Explorer um, tree menu system which is good um, and I label my folders when you import that folder it'll import all the other folders underneath it and nest it like uh, Windows half the time I just import like one folder that I'm working on on my photo walk and that's good enough uh, <laughs> I don't need to know what I did five years ago but it's just like Windows so you know you know it's up to you to bloody um, organize yourself so <laughs> organize your life organize your computer <laughs> Organise your bloody files better then. <laughs> Alright, let's just go quickly go through it, uh, what you get. You can do a free download and um, check it out for like how many days, uh, 30 days or whatever, and test it out and then you can buy it. Some of the things that I like, I mean you can check this out yourself, but while you're here, everyone knows it for Sky Replacement. <laughs> uh, the, a, the portrait AI, it's unreal. Um, you can make people fat, skinny, you can get rid of all the pimples, uh, you can make them younger, make their eyes bigger. It's, it's seriously, it's very scary <laughs> what you can do with it. Uh, but I really like it. I mean, it's not fake. You can really subtly move shit around to make it just a little bit better, especially if you're doing portraits. Um, you can be really subtle with it, but it makes it look very professional. It's got these new things like create a bokeh, um, a toner uh, effect. So that's, that's what I'm saying. It's got all this AI. Basically, a lot of the AI, it'll fix it for you, for one thing. But the other side of the AI is the masking. That's where it, it'll identify the person and it'll then separate the person from the background. So then you can only change the background. So it's got like this create a bokeh effect. Similar, same situation. You can remove the background. Instead of blurring the background, you can remove the background. So, you know, like those GIFs a transparent background so that's awesome for that that's only new and that's awesome seriously because i do a lot of videos and i like to superimpose you know like stupid things like jerry's head on top of my videos and now uh, i can get a photo and isolate it uh, the the person or or jerry <laughs> and then remove all the background and i can put that on my videos so that's that's really good i'm going to use that a lot because that just came out. Uh, then you got all the, the other uh, AI things like structure, super contrast. Uh, seriously, go to the website and test out some of the sliders. It's amazing what you can do just with one little slide. 
Uh, obviously, your photo's got to be good to start with. <laughs> it's not going to fix shitty photos. Hey, Jerry. Jerry's sleeping. <laughs> uh, it's got this other good thing called Relight. That's new too from Luminar 4. And I think what that kind of does is it, it, it relights. You can choose to relight the front or the back and you can move it up and down like that. So it's very similar to um, level. It's very similar to the the gradient tool, but it does it for you. AI mask. Now that's the big thing. That's the big selling point. That's the money shot for Luminar is their AI, obviously, but the AI identification. So what it does, it does all this uh, calculation, you know, graphic. But what it's really doing is calculating and looking at the scene and going right. That's the sky. That's a person's face. That's the ground. That's a few trees over there and it separates them and you can pick which one you want and that'll separate that. So if you want to just um, darken the sky and you couldn't be bothered tracing around and painting and brushing over the sky, uh, AI will pick it um, and then you can change it. So a lot of the time it doesn't get it right, especially if you've got a really cluttered photo and it's just shit everywhere. You might miss a few bits, but you can go in and edit it. So it does all the bulk, all the heavy work, and then you can just fine tune it at the end. So, um, like I said, it's not complete AI. You still have full control over it. So um, don't don't think that uh, you know Skylum, <laughs> Skylum, Skylab. <laughs> don't think the Terminator will have full control over you. Then it's got all these other things, you know. Uh, sun ray lights they call it augmentation you know just like the sky you can augment things you know sun rays uh, fog all that kind of stuff you know all the fake stuff you can add in subtly <laughs> uh, that's one of the, one of the golden rules of luminar is don't overdo it <laughs> yeah dust spots denoise it's got its own denoise I mean it's not the best I'd rather use DxO or topaz is the other one. And they reckon dodge and burn's coming soon. <laughs> uh, that's one thing that didn't carry over from Luminar 4. And the, the one and the last thing is got presets, which I love. If you if you go on their website, you, some some people are giving them away for free, or you can buy other people's presets as well. But the ones they give you are really good. Uh, I use them all the time. Uh, they're like a starting point where you use it to just um, set up uh, what you think you want to go to. And it's also got AI in the presets. So it'll scan your photo and go, ah, oh, looks like you're shooting macro. So it'll give you a macro preset list. So it's very clever um, how they've done it. I mean, a lot of the presets are shit. Like, you think, oh, what the hell? But I like the presets. Uh, they're like a, a starting point. Um, and if, there's, if it does too much, um, you can go to the edit tab and you can get rid of some of the stupid things that are put in there and keep only the ones that you want. So... If you're wondering, Rob, what the hell, man, Luminar sucks, I'm a Lightroom guy, <laughs> uh, which a lot of, I hear a lot of people say, you know, man, that's, uh, light, it's, I'm a professional, you know, I use Lightroom. Well, fair enough, because Lightroom is more professional, and it's got the Photoshop uh, attached to it as well. So, but the beauty of this is you can have it as a plug-in. I know a lot of people like to use Luminar as uh, an add-on, like an extra uh, feature, like a plug-in. Use, use them both in that way. Or piss Lightroom off and just use Luminar, because that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, I'm not professional. Uh, and I, I beg to differ, because I saw uh, Peter McKinnon's video. He did a paid promotion for it. And he says, oh, it's more for the average punter, you know, the average user, amateur, enthusiast. Maybe he's right, maybe he isn't, but I reckon you could probably get away, you know, depending on what profession, what kind of a professional you are with it, but I still reckon it does 95% of everything that uh, Lightroom does anyway. Um, it's like almost a mixture of Lightroom and Photoshop put into one, chuck the AI on top to make, you know, uh, make it ease my life easier, and uh, there you go. Uh, right, so that's it, Jerry's back. Um, she's, she's woken up again. Jerry, did you wake up? So if you're new here, what I'll do, I usually do photo walks and everything, but I'll do a little series on Lumina and I'll try and um, uh, do quick, easy tutorials on it. 
uh, in between my photo walks. So, you know, if you want to hang around for the Lumina, Jerry, you want to go? Oh, Jerry! If you want to hang around for the Lumina, stick around for a couple of weeks. I'll probably do some Lumina tutorials. And then um, if you want to stick around, then stick around <laughs> for my photo walks with Jerry. And uh, I'll uh, catch you on the next uh, video. Thanks for watching.